Well, today we're at the United States Supreme Court in defense of tribal sovereignty. Uh, the governor of the state of Oklahoma has once again uh, taken us to court to undermine tribal sovereignty. Uh, McGirt was about keeping a promise to Indian tribes. Of course, we have won that case. The Supreme Court wouldn't even entertain uh, the governor's effort to turn back McGirt. The governor's effort to somehow convince the court that the United States ought to break its promised Indian tribes. We're here for a subset of the McGirt case, still a very important proposition, but the law and the facts are on our side. The law and the facts are on our side, and they, the law has been settled for many, many years. Uh, states do not have jurisdiction over crimes committed against Native Americans on tribal reservations. What I would rather be doing today is the work we've been doing at the Cherokee Nation for more than a year, which is building a criminal justice system. We have built a criminal justice system and worked on this over the course of a year, doing something the states had more than a century to do. That's difficult work. It takes cooperation. It takes collaboration. The governor of the state of Oklahoma doesn't seem to understand that cooperation is better than conflict. So once again, we're here defending tribal sovereignty. But the Cherokee Nation has put over $30 million into building up our criminal justice system. We've taken on over 4,000 felony cases. We put resources into victim services, to prosecutors, to more judges, to more law enforcement. We've got cooperative agreements with more than 100 jurisdictions. We're doing that because we take very serious this responsibility to provide this blanket of protection for everyone in our tribal lands. We can work together. I just wish the governor of the state of Oklahoma would join us in that effort. And I'd be glad to take your questions. Um, how do you foresee this case impacting tribal relations with the state? Well, tribal relations with the state, uh, insofar as the governor's office is concerned, is at an all-time low. Governor Kevin Stitt is the most anti-Indian governor in the history of the state of Oklahoma. But there's so many other leaders in the state of Oklahoma that want to work cooperatively with us. We have a great relationship with the state legislature on a bipartisan basis. We work with state agencies all the time. We've been working for years to help build up the state of Oklahoma, and most leaders understand and respect that. So I think we can all, I think, get beyond Governor Stitt's really 19th century mentality that tribes are somehow a nuisance, that any gain by tribes is somehow a loss for the state. I think he's the only one that thinks that way. Uh, so we're going to continue to do our work. I think there's ways to build on the great relationships we have with other state leaders. Just, just be nice if the governor of the state of Oklahoma would join the rest of us here in the 21st century. Thank you. Are you feeling confident ahead of the trial? I am confident because the law is on our side. Look, the governor wants generations of legal precedent and statutes uh, passed by Congress to be overturned. I don't think the court's going to do that. I think in this day and age, the United States is going to keep its promise to Indian tribes, no matter how many times the governor goes into court and begs it to break a promise. Why this may not go the way the tribes well, we're making progress in this country. I mean, just uh, within the last month, we've seen the Violence Against Women Act reauthorized, including key tribal provisions. We obviously saw the McGirt case, and we saw the response of tribes to act in a very responsible way to protect people. I think the United States is starting to understand that tribal governments are perfectly capable of not only governing their own affairs, but undertaking really important efforts like providing criminal jurisdiction, providing protection protection to victims, making sure justice is served. Uh, it's only some regressive leaders, a handful of regressive leaders in this country that don't get it. One of them happens to be the governor of the state of Oklahoma. The rest of us, though, are, are understanding that tribes have a vital role in protecting people. We're doing that every day.